Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video. We are a little late doing the all-star battle, but the new one starts tomorrow, so what better way to celebrate than to actually do the first half? I haven't done it yet. We got all of these fun little rewards to go, and let's hop right in. I think it's going to be a fun time, a chill time, a very relaxing time, but probably not because the cards we're going to be getting in our hand are dog water, apparently. Is this a one-shot? Let's find out. Yes, it is. All right, first wave is done. Huge shout out to Ghidorah. I almost said Void Ghidorah, but it's not Void Ghidorah. It's the Ride Ghidorah. And we have him again. Can we go for the two, the two Pete, the repeat, the Joker Folia do? But Ghidorah, Crystal's dead. Crystal's dead. Boom. Love that. All right, that is the fastest we've gone through two of those. Can we get a three? A turkey even? Nope. Not even, not even with this. Not even, where's his health bar? It's just not here, just gone. How am I supposed to know what health he's at? Not helpful. Not helpful at all. We'll do a little moth or larva here. Kill them all out. They're dead. Let's give that uh, little guy a little crit shot right there. Oh yeah, look at all the crits. Look at that flying around. Double monster axe. They're really, uh, they're really kicking it up a notch. Where's Manila's health bar? I don't know. I don't know. Excellent question. Excellent question. Uh, I have, I have no idea where Manila's health bar is. That's a big guy. We don't need to really worry about him. We're just gonna like blast him right here. Done. Didn't, didn't, didn't even matter. We didn't even need to blast him. Could have been cool if we had a three P with the Ghidorah, but we didn't, and that's fine. We're just gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna crunch my like fidget thing. It's like a big rope cord the entire time. But if that gets too annoying, I have more fidgets. This whole desk is fidgets. I got these poppers. You know, you know how it is. We got a we got a two by two popper stack. Oh yeah, that's that's really the key to living right there. Oh, common writers available. I haven't even checked out the list of the characters that you can use for this or not. I really haven't. Every time, literally, like, the last three or four months, there's been some kind of major update or all-star battle or something, I've been away. Either on vacation or, like, a family thing or what, but I'm so out of, I feel like I'm so out of the loop. But you know what I'm not out of the loop with? There's the Battle Line Tournament. The Battle Line Tournament is starting soon. Uh, not this weekend. The next weekend on the 19th, so, uh... Hopefully I make it far and not just get eliminated in the first round, but for whatever battles I do end up doing, I'll make videos for. I don't think I'm going to live stream the event because it's going to be midnight for me when that happens, and I don't want to wake up my wife because it's going to be from like midnight to like 7 in the morning. So I think what I'm going to do is just record the battles and then commentate over them for a video, but not commentate over them live so I can like lock in and like focus up but i gotta get some practice in because there's a lot of really good decks but there's also a lot of really strong opponents so i'm ready to go i gotta be i gotta be of steady hand and steady mind of course but if all things go uh you know according to plan i'm pretty sure if i fight tuscan cow at the end of the first round if me and him both make it all the way through which is pretty exciting and then um Who else was in there? There was a pretty interesting one. I think uh, one of the higher-up Japanese players is fighting Iluvatar pretty early on, which is pretty cool. But there's already people on social media talking to each other who are going to be uh, coming into odds with one another. It's really cool to see, actually. There's a lot of camaraderie between all the players I'm already seeing on social media, so I like that. I like that a lot. And then I think we're good here. The poison and that 80% punch. Oh, yeah, and the stealth bomber. Over. Skarking really pu puts in a lot of work. I wish mine was a higher level, but it is what it is. Honestly, so far, doesn't seem like I have too many high-level characters in this all-star battle that are not the four stars. I also just realized I don't really have a whole lot of uh, G tokens, but if we can get it to 19, I think that'll be enough to get us to the next to, to the next grouping of them. What is this gonna do? Anything? All right, cool. That worked. Next. Eight. 
Felt Bomber, of course. Gotta see if this pays off. I have high hopes. I have high hopes for Felt Bomber. One shot. Yep, alright, cool. On to the next one. Very easy. And that's a level 30 stealth bomber, so that's not, like, insanely difficult to obtain. Mmm, you, you, you. Oh, oh god, the fire Godzilla. The, uh, 99. If he kills one of these guys, he's gonna take them all down. Oh, and they got him, so I think it's over. Yeah, these early waves, I mean, honestly, the first half of All-Star Battle is just so... I mean, I don't, I don't want to brag. It's just so e it's just so easy for me. Like at, at this point in the game, all of my characters, except for the newest ones, like all of the all of the three stars and lower, except for the um, except for what's it's called, Godzilla Tower are uh, level thirty and higher. So all my golds are level thirty and higher. All the silvers are level thirty and higher. All of the bronzes are 30 and higher, and they just make things so much easier. But not everything else is 30 or higher. Excellent. Boom. Done. Dunzo. I have my Green Day shirt. Boom. Green Day. I just saw it in the thing, but it's also reversed on my end. I gotta flip my camera around, maybe? Do I just make an iconic camera flip in the middle of my video? That'd be kind of, kind of crazy, huh? How do I flip it? I don't even know. Flip vertically? No. Flip horizontally? That's not even an option. I'll figure it out. Oh god, now my camera's frozen. Oh, I shouldn't have done that in the middle of recording. I'll figure it out later. That's a little ADD. Oh, okay, and we're done with that. Cool. Listen, the faster I'm done with this, the faster I can upload it, the faster I can go play the new season Destiny. Which is not the goal of this video. Obviously, the goal of this video is to tell you all about how incredible this event is and about all the fun stuff in it. But the new season of Destiny is Vampire Hunter themed, and there are vampires and undead, and they make you. or they let you dress like Bloodborne guys, and it rules, so. it wouldn't be a total negative if I was able to go do that just saying but these videos usually take like 45 minutes to do anyway for the first half of all-star battle i think the fastest one we have is like 30 minutes also since i haven't live streamed in a minute i think i guess the next live stream will probably be for the second half of this but since i haven't live streamed in a minute i'll do a little figure a little figure haul i always do like a little figure haul when um when we do live streams i always show you if i got something new and i got i got this Venom Pool. I don't know if I showed you guys the Venom Pool uh, on the last one, but it's sick. It's from Target. It's like one of those Target exclusive ones. It's absolutely gargantuan in size. It's it's so sick. It's like a, just an extremely meaty Marvel Legends figure. Uh, super cool. Gonna go on the Venom shelf for sure. It rules. Absolutely stunning. It's actually a really good figure. It's just a reprint of the Build-A-Figure Marvel Legends is there a minus one in these here waters? Uh, it's just a reprint of the Venom Pool from the... One of the Venom Waves from, like, 2017 or 2016. It had, like, Gwen and Poison, Spider-Man, and Miles in it. But uh, I never got those waves. I wasn't really collecting Marvel Legends when that came out. I was in college when that came out. This one this is a deluxe. Awesome. This is the second deluxe figure that I wanted that has come out while I've been out of school that came out when I was in school so they did the Venom Space Night which I didn't get in when I was in school but like a few years ago I just went and bought one on Mercari and then they released it as another two pack with Mania so I got that one too and then um I got this Venom Pool which I was looking at getting the Build-A-Figure for but then I heard that this was going to get released and I was like all right cool I'm just not going to get the I'm just not going to get the Build-A-Figure I'm just going to get this one instead it worked out because it rules oh the chibis <clears throat> Alrighty, next. Yeah, I got a lot of I got a lot of Marvel Legends uh, going around in here. I am, the next group of them that I'm going to be getting are the 
not Midnight Suns, Strange Tales, I believe, is the wave. And it's like a Moon Knight, Dracula, Ghost Rider, Wolverine combo, and a few other, like, random characters. I know they are, but it's like Dr. It's like Dr. Voodoo, Damien Hellstrom, Lilith, um, Storm as a vampire. I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing one. I think that's good, but the build the figure's black heart, so he's gonna go right up there with the rest of my Ghost Riders. Uh, probably, I'm gonna like send. I, mean, I might sell some secondhand to recoup the money on him, like uh, Damon Hellstrom. I don't really care about, but I'm probably gonna keep like Lilith to go with the uh, Ghost Rider shelf, and then um, I mean, I guess all of them could really go in the Ghost Rider shelf, but we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely keeping the Moon Knight. Probably keeping the Dracula. Probably keeping Lilith. Definitely keeping the Wolverine Ghost Rider. Um, Damon Hellstrom, Doctor Voodoo, and Bloodstorm. Maybe a little iffy. I probably could have used that to just kill there, uh, that crystal, but get a few extra kills right there for the challenges. Why not? Chopper's down. This thing's down. Crystal's gonna go down in a second, and then we are good to go. Yeah, and Lilith is cool. I liked Lilith in the um, Midnight Suns game. I played the shit out of the Midnight Suns game. It, it, it absolutely was stellar. But um, the Lilith in the Marvel Legends Lilith is not the same. It, it, I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be the same Lilith. But it's um, the original like comics one from like the 70s or 80s or whatever. Not the one from the game. The one in the game looks, I think, a little bit cooler. But... Um, this one is like very clearly like 80s retro inspired. Very sick. I like it a lot. Can we kill this moth before, before we kill the crystal? No. Damn. Just a little too slow on that one. Just a little too slow. You know, this this also battle wave has a lot of characters that are good, but I just don't have it like a super high level. Ooh. That noise is insane, by the way. I feel like glitching out all over the place. Alright, but that's fine. We have them going up. The the bases are losing their health pretty rapidly, honestly. Good thing that we got those two kills there. Shimu missed and is totally redirected the other two characters that I had. Oh, but his AoE got them, doesn't matter. Just pop all of this shit because it's over. We got him. Oh yeah, we got the freeze on him. We got that AOE. We got a little baby Godzilla going crazy over there. And he had that, and he had that immunity. He was able to just nuke the uh, the G89 right there with the Shimu. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Next. Alright, so we're 18. A 50... The 51, we have how much? Two, one, two, and then I will probably have to go onto my phone and make. Probably have to go onto my phone and then buy the gems. Not buy. The, I I have the gems on the phone. I don't have them on the PC client. Is what I'm trying to say. So maybe I just pause the recording purchase it on my phone then come back and finish the recording that's probably what i'm gonna have to do um unless i picked up the gems from the achievements then i'm probably good for a little bit more i, I think i'm probably still gonna no matter what have to get them from my phone so i don't want to buy them through and app today I, actually, I don't have to buy anything i just have the gems on my phone so i might as well just do that this is the first time we've seen King Caesar. Caesar? Caesar? I don't think I saw him in this rotation at all. Is this the first time we've seen Dimension Tide too? Maybe. Alright, well that's done. Excellent. 15 minutes in and we're on wave 23. That's a pretty good time. That's a pretty good time. Alright, Fire Dan. Scar King. Oh, we got Scar King and Shimo. We've got Scar King and Aquamothra. Let's just do Aquamothra. I feel like Aquamothra and Scar King can be able to just knock through this for the most part. Yeah, I think they'll be fine. It's a lot of damage. 
I don't even know if that Aquamoth or... No, he would probably kill him before his health went all the way down. It didn't matter. Skarkin got that last hit anyway. He actually might have been just one away from killing him, right? Oh, we got to defeat 100 enemies, though, so that's fantastic. Uh, let me check the... You know what? Are there gems in the present box? Oh, my stars. Oh, my days. From the login bonus yesterday that I didn't pick up. 500. Baby, we don't have to do anything. We got it. We knocked it out. Phenomenal. We love to hear it. We love to see it. Emblem base. Chibi duo. Ready to rock and roll. Ooh, a little Bailante action. Giant Octopus goes in the water. And I think we are good. I think that's it. Level 47 or 48. Giant Octopus is coming in. Got a little dude freezing him up right there. She's dead. Shinton's coming through. Not a big deal for the Octopus. The octopus is going to just go ape on the Shinden. Killed him. Amazing. Stealth Bomb spawned in. Octopus is getting a hit on there. Damn. Octopus defending in the water like crazy. Timestamp that. Clip that. Twitch. Twitch. Did anyone clip that? It's not on Twitch. I'm sorry. But I was thinking about possibly multi-streaming to Twitch. I think through... I have to explore how to do it. But I'm pretty sure through Streamlabs, which is what I use to make videos and stream in general. Um, I think I can multi-stream to Twitch at the same time as YouTube. And I think I can do it to... To, to TikTok as well, so I gotta figure out how to do all that, because maybe that's just a, like a hidden way to just get more views. No idea. No idea how it works. No idea if I can integrate the Twitch chat into the stream chat at all or what, but hey, if that's, a, if that's gonna be a, a better way to expand the channel, then why not, right? Why not do that? Could be good. Could be good. All right. Common Rider. Angiris. Mogera. And trains right here. Cool. We got two crystals with that. Fantastic. And we're moving up. Oh, easy peasy. Done. Done. Clear the wave 24 checkpoint. Excellent. All right, so now we can buy our crystal. So we are halfway. We are, we are just about halfway right here. 26, I believe, is the halfway marker. So we're good. Halfway at 17, 18-ish minutes. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Terrestrious. So we'll do Gamera. Aquamothra. Send him up. Gonna go crazy on that Terrestrious who can't evolve because it's all-star battle. Aquamoth is gonna go shooting right up the center. And we're good. Done. Alright, cool. 25 is is done. That was actually crazy. I also, for the figure collection thing, where I always show the figures I get. I got comic books too. I got a bunch of the Godzilla variant co uh, cover books. But, um... They're in my, like, little comic book compartment thing. I'm gonna just show a picture on a... I already showed a picture of it on Twitter. So if you're curious, you can just go to my Twitter. Link, I'm pretty sure, is in the description. Also, plug to Twitter. Scar can go on ape right there, actually. Oh, the slow on the on the King Caesar was crazy. I mean, it's not going to stop him, but like that was, that was like a... That was a pretty inconvenient place for us to be placing that King Caesar. Not that we weren't going to beat it right there, but just I feel like it would have been a lot quicker if we had put King Caesar on the left side instead. Alright. Not a great hand, but we'll do Manila. This is the first time I've seen Shinden. Let's do Mega Gearus. Let's just do the Stealth Bomber. And we'll just do Mogera, and we're just going to rush this guy with everything we got. Not really worried about this Godzilla 99 walking up at all. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Done. Over. I'd hit excellent battle if I could, my friend, but I can't. Sucks to suck. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
28, 29, 30. Look at that. We're approaching. We're approaching the end. Only 20 minutes in. Only 20 minutes in. So our, what is our average per mission? Like 20... No, that's 20. Oh my gosh. Two minutes per. It's not bad. And Gyrus, destroy a larva. Aquamothra. Oh, it's the way with all the Rodans. That's fine. Actually, it's probably pretty good that we have this swarm. We're going to be able to take out a lot of them. Take him out. Perfect. And then that's done. Yeah, the first half of All-Star Battle, unless you're like a brand new player, like you just started within the first, this like last like five months, I would say, the first the first half of All-Star Battle is going to give you a tough time. But if like, if oh, Desgador is here too. If you're, if you've been playing this game for like a year, you should be clearing the first half of All-Star Battle, no problem. I mean, there's so much, like, there's so many good characters that are always available. I mean, I feel like this, this All-Star Battle has like a pairing of like really good characters, but have all come out semi-recently to the point where like not a lot of people have them leveled up or some people might not have them at all if they just started. There's a lot of new characters in here, like the Ride characters, the Godzilla and Kong characters. But there's a healthy amount of stuff, so they have the event care. I mean, the event characters are always usable if you have them, or some of them are at least if you have them. But yeah, this Mogera Chopper Strat that's peak actually. Not a lot of people know that that's peak actually. So wave thirty is two little Kamakura swarms. If there's more swarms, it could be good for uh, could be good for farming. But we can do this Rainbow Mothra here. Oh, yeah. Give them all the immune. Absolutely huge day for all the choppers to be immune. And our leader. Oh, yeah. Choppers being immune. Crazy strat right there. So our choppers are just high enough level at 30 to get two hits off this guy. Not including getting hit to remove the uh, the barrier. Not barrier. Uh, shield. Pretty good. Pretty good right there. Also, his rider averages two minutes. We started this at around 20 minutes into the video, and now it's 22. It's about it's about two minutes per per, per checkpoint. All right, so here's for our free piece of Monster X. I believe mine is low enough that this wave completion will result in a full level gained for Monster X, which is nice. I I'm, I don't, I don't plan on using Monster X anytime soon. There's a lot of people who like Monster X. Uh, I am not one of those people. But I will take a level on any character whenever I can get it. Four piece for characters. I'm not going to shy away from a character. No matter how bad they are, I will always buy or pick up pieces for a character if they're guaranteed. Because you never know when they're going to get buffed. You never know when they're going to see a nice substantial buff. I mean, Jet Jaguar was really bad for a long time. The Karate Chop won, and then he got a buff. I mean, he's still not great, but he's a lot better than he was before. Um, someone else recently just got a really nice change. Fire Rodan got one as well. Megalon got one as well. So you never know. You never know when there's going to be a change that's pretty good. And if you're not getting pieces for them, you'd be left behind. So I, I am totally okay with getting pieces for Monster X now in the hopes that one day he is viable. Oh my, eye. my eye was itchy. Love that. Look at that. Fantastic. Done. And then we have Scar King. Speaking of Monster X, Common Rider. Let's just make sure he's like, you know. Oh, that was sick. You just absolutely clotheslined him. Uh, yeah, okay, they're gonna take this. I mean, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Scar Peak and and Peak Rider don't don't get through this all the way. Oh, you know what? The stuns. The stuns could be bad. The stuns could be bad. Oh, okay, he's dead. Oh, they just made it out of there. Just barely made it out. Common Rider's going crazy. We'll put Monster X down. We'll hit a little bit of a shuffle. Alright, now this is a good, now this is a good hand. Do a little Gigan action, the Final Wars Brothers right here. Ooh, destroy perfect form? No bueno. Not looking too hot for our guys, but Gigan's gonna go through them pretty quickly. Oh yeah, look at that. Done. 
Oh, come on now. There it is. There it is. So that took us, uh, again, about two minutes, three minutes maybe. I'm timing this shit. I got, I got this down to a science. 34 through 36. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Shoot your Jaguar. He was immune, or maybe I missed him, like barely. So Jaguar is immune though. Another King Caesar. When are they gonna learn? When are they gonna learn? Thank you, Joe Jaguar. You're a hero. Love that. Love that for us. Fantastic. I keep looking at my screen on this side. I really should be looking at this one. Oh, now I'm just trying to move the whole display thing. I messed that one up, didn't I? Probably. Alright. Super X. This is the hetero one. Gamera and Chibi Godzilla. This is probably fine. Yeah, if Super X is gonna one shot all these heteros, this is this is definitely more than okay. But Chibi on that far right side is good because he's gonna need to take out that other hetero right there that this uh, you know the Super X probably could reach that. But yeah, being able to take all these guys out instantly with Super X. That's big. And it's getting us a lot of kills, which is nice. But Super X probably gonna grab onto the crystal in a second and not these other heteros. Ah, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we missed a, we missed a hetero. That's not so bad. That is not so bad in my book. Okay, final boss. Chibi. King Ghidorah. I feel like we're just using King Ghidorah Tent. Dorats are here. Well, I mean, of course they're here. They're always here. Let's just send the Dorats up the side see what happens. I feel like they'll be pretty good. They're pretty good at their job. Okay, so Burning's dead. Dorats are going to go in for the kill. They're going to do their thing. King Ghidorah's rushing in. I think my King Ghidorah's level like 5. So not like super powerful, but halfway decent. Cool. Excellent. Love that. Love to see it. Clear wave 36. Perfect. 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 And we have, look at that, enough for the next one. 396 to 150. Baby, we have enough to do 1, 2, 3, 4, and then buy out that fifth one for 80 event points. Hmm. Jet Jaguar, you're going with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jet Jaguar, you're going with them. Tanks, choppers. What else you got? I'm rolling away from my seat. Oh, gosh. Tired, get to stretch, and all that. It's a lot of choppers. Can we do something about that? I guess it doesn't matter. Did Jaguar Loki the goat, actually? Just the absolute goat. Gigans. Or Gigan and Manila. That's fine. Because we can do this. He's dead. Manila's going to go down in a second. Oh. We're not, we're not just one-shotting things with the Super X anymore. Yeah, never mind. I take that back. We are. We most certainly are. There we go. We're locked on to the enemy. There's the... Crystal's gonna go down in a second. He's gonna get stun locked, but that's fine. We at least have to see Mechagodzilla on the field. The model looks great, as always. Not so uh, amazing, but it's pretty good. You know what? We haven't really used... We've, we've placed the chippies a lot, but I feel like... They're not really doing the most. We'll do Jet Jaguar. We'll do uh, other Chibi. Oh, yeah, right here, Aquamothra. That's the move. Aquamothra in the water lanes. That's exactly 
exactly what I like to see. Oh yeah, right up into that swarm. They're getting the attack boost from the Batra, but it doesn't even matter. Rodan's gonna go down too. Done. Yep, see you later, Jet Jaguar. And it's it's lights for that Batra lead. It's over. I mean, this this Mothra is gonna go away, but that's fine because we're look at us. We got the Chivis on deck. We got that Jet Jaguar. I mean, it's just they're not getting out of that one. That's like an alligator death roll. You're, you're not getting out of that. There's only one way you're getting out of that. It's not alive. I'll tell you that much. I'm telling you nothing for nothing for something or something for free or, or whatever. However the saying goes. 40 to 42 now. That is what we're doing. Hollow Earth map. We'll do a little bit of this action. A little bit of 10th Angel. A little bit of... A little bit of Chibis. Octopus. Shin. Hetera. Some pretty easy stages. Some stages... We've had some that are just like nothing. Or things that just dump a bunch of garbage units out on us. And this is one of those where I think it just dumps a bunch of garbage units out. Yep, Moth is going to go down trying to fight the 4th Angel. This Mega Gears is going to go down to the Chibis. Cool. We didn't even kill any of the Choppers there. We just kind of let the 4th Angel just double tap that crystal. And it did exactly what we were hoping it would do. So, phenomenal. Chit Jaguar. Oh, you know what? Chit Jaguar again. And we can do the... Let's just kill the Shinden. I was going to say we can do the 4th Angel. I'd just rather kill this thing. I mean, the leader could probably do it, but if I did 4th Angel and the Jet Jaguar, they would probably kill this crystal before my leader killed that Shinden. No bueno. And by doing the Fire Rodan... Oh, excuse me. We also got the Market Light Cannon. Fantastic. Ultima. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see how much that does. Meh. It's all right. Shimo, Emboz. I think we're chilling. Dorats. Oh yeah, Dorats. They're coming in strong as always. Giant Octopus, of course. We're just gonna clog this lane with garbage. Oh yeah, they're gonna take this market light cannon. That's the stuff right there. Stuff of miracles even. Oh yeah, look who's coming in for the kill. Shimo, right here, up at bat. And boss by your side. There's nothing she can't do. Look at that ship damage. Slow on the enemy lead. Who would have thought? A novel concept. Absolutely novel concept. And it's done. Fantastic. Hmm. That's garbage. I'm shuffling. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's the good stuff. We don't normally shuffle during the first half all-star battle unless we're on the final boss, but uh, that was just not a great hand. Ooh, double Gigans. Double Gigans. And they're dead. Ooh, I got trains. I got missiles. Uh, probably not going to need it because Desgadora and the Rodan. I mean, the fire, the regular Rodan already at level 30 just it would four-hit that crystal by itself, so... Desgador was a little bit unnecessary, but I like having him there. Scar King, Final Wars. I mean, we'll just do this. We'll do King Caesar and Scar King and see how well that works out for us. Worked out pretty well, I'd say. All right, 41 is done. We're on to 42. Next wave. Alrighty, alrighty, Space Godzilla. You know what, we'll do this guy. And we'll do Kamakura Swarm. And I think that'll be good. Shout out to the Orga lead. This is the first Orga lead we've seen for this event? I think so. I don't think they're doing repeat. Uh, I don't think they do repeat leads anymore. There's enough leads in this game for them to have unique leads for like every checkpoint of the first half I think or most of them 
Oh yeah, you gotta love that like weird stuttery glitchy sound that synchronized attacking makes. It's insane sounding. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but it comes through mine like it's just like a bell ringing. It's crazy. All right, 45 or 46, 48. We're gonna buy one out for 80 points. You should not do that. Only I'm doing it because I am a streamer for content and I make money off the channel. If you're not making money off this game, you probably should not use your gems to rush through this entire event. You probably shouldn't use your event tickets to also buy the tickets to complete the event. It's a waste. Big waste. Big red flag. N-O. Do not do it. Yeah, kill that guy. He's dead. Boom, O'Gara. Lovely to see you, Mogera. Oh, Godzilla Earth. Hello, nice to see you there. Yeah, you thought, Godzilla Earth. You thought. You thought you could get through my little chippies and my heels. But you thought wrong. You thought wrong, you stupid son of a bitch. You thought wrong. 250 enemies. We got to wave 47 and only defeated 250 enemies. Nice. Got that Caesar. Probably would have been better to use that on the market lights. But I think Desgador will probably get both of them. Yeah, there it is. Done. Shinden for good measure. Of course, Shinden is there for support. Koichi's flying in. He's just checking his name. Just passing by. Just passing by. Gotta see what's going on over here. Just passing by. Chaos, Koichi. That's exactly what's happening. It's just absolute catastrophe. Front to center, back to right, front to left. And again, Desgador is just going to solo this entire mission for us. Let's see it, Desg. All right, so there's the Hetero 2004 coming up. Can the healing make it through this? Cannot. There's the 200% Godzilla Riot attack. Did not even matter. My Desgador is like level 27, so not even level 30, but still incredibly high. And we're right outside of leader range, which is phenomenal. We're going to go ahead and just throw a Dimension Tide on there for good measure. Get a little bit extra damage out. Speed up this process so we can get to the last one. Nothing is else is coming out. Giant Octopus, phenomenal. What a what a what a stalwart defense this Jet Jaguar has. Someone at the Toho office must absolutely hate Jet Jaguar for that to be his defense. That ride Godzilla and then the octopus. Alright, so we're gonna go to the exchange. We are going to buy one event ticket. You should not be doing that. Thank you. We're going back to the event. We are using that one event ticket to complete waves 49 through 51. And then we will claim our rewards and buy our prizes. Aqua Mothra. I drop my fidget. Rainbow Mothra. Give the shield. Pretty sure my leader hit the shield. Don't know. I think so, though. But we killed that green chibi, which is great. Aquamoth is going to give us our uh, energy back. That's fine. And then the Rainbow Moth is going to finish out the job. Those, those guys didn't even get a chance to spawn in. They just immediately died. That's phenomenal. We love that. Okay, okay. Gigan. Shuffle. Orga will wait to drop it. Uh, with this. Oh, yeah. They're, they're not... 50 is done. Wasted that Orga. Holy shit. Alright, 51. I saw in my Discord, people were saying that 51 is harder this go-around. I don't know. Chibi. Hmm. You. I could see why this might be... My people think my... That might be a little harder. Dorads. Look at this. All of them get the boost. So the Dorads with that boost is fantastic. I can see why people might might think that was a little bit tough of a push right there. That is that is definitely difficult. We lucked out with the um with the 200% boost right there, but I even think without it we probably would be fine just because. I mean, I think we have the levels anyway to pass this, regardless of what strategy we might have to get through this. We just have two high levels for the first half, and we're just going to nuke it instantly. Jet Jaguar for good measure, because what would this event be without our little Jet Jaguar? And I think that is wraps on this guy. 
done. So that's checkpoint 51 of the event. Awesome. We love it. Love to see it. Alrighty. Congratulations. We did it. Let's go claim our rewards and then go buy my G material. 27 things to claim. So we're at two. We're at 6,800 ish. 6,890 ish points because we just spent 80. We got a map with garbage in it. Fantastic. We got another map with garbage in it. Fantastic. We got another map. Well, this is actually the mecha, or not the mecha, the, what's his name? Monster X. Oh, so it wasn't even a full level. Okay. So he's got to be like 16 or higher. Maybe he's 16. Another map of garbage in it. And then the rest of our points. We are now at 9,390 points. And we can buy the only things in here that matter. The G material. This guy. Skip. Oh, that's a nice level. And then we can buy this guy. Here we go. I think I need... I'll need one more piece for him to get into another level. Shit, three more. And that's it. That's all I'm buying from in here until the second half, where I will just buy whatever the character that comes in next is. And then we have more, less coins than when we started, but all that stuff was good. <sighs> that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, tomorrow we should have some content up for the second half of the All-Star Battle. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.